In the second video about calculating portfolio risk, I'm going to create a variance covariance matrix from a correlation matrix. So let's start on the second video. So now the first thing you might want to observe about the variance covariance matrix is that it is symmetric about the lead diagonal. The lead diagonals are the variances. So over here you have the variance terms, variance of A, variance of B, and variance of C. Then you also would notice that it's symmetric. The values of correlation metrics are symmetric. With this information, we can easily make the variance covariance metrics. Uh, what I also wanted to share was why the covariance between A and B A is equal to uh, the variance. So over here, you can see the covariance between A. Over here, you can see the covariance between A and A is same as uh, standard deviation of A multiplied by standard deviation of A multiplied by correlation of A. -A. A thing moves perfectly with itself. Thus, correlation of a thing with itself would always be equal to 1. So we have the standard deviation multiplied together, which is equal to the variance multiplied by so 1. Anything multiplied by 1 is itself. And thus we get covariance of A is equal to the variance of A. So to find the vari variance of A, we will just take the standard deviation of A and uh, take its square. Similarly, the variance of B is standard deviation of B squared. And so for the same, do the same for the C as well. So standard deviation of C squared is the variance of C. To find the covariance between A and B, we have to use the same original formula. Standard deviation of A multiplied by standard deviation of B multiplied by the correlation AB. Standard deviation of A multiplied by standard deviation of B multiplied by the correlation of A and B over here, which is 0 0.3. When we multiply it, we get the covariance of A and B. Since it is symmetric, we know the covariance between B and A will also be equal to this value. Now to find the covariance between A and C, multiply the standard deviation of A with the standard deviation of C with the co correlation of A and C. Uh, for symmetricity, this will be equal to this. And finally, the covariance of B and C, that's standard deviation of B, standard deviation of C, multiplied by the correlation of B and C. And then we can easily put this value over here. And we have a completed variance covariance metrics. I hope you understand this concept. If you have any issues, please ask me in the comments.